Once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. Today's video is a very exciting one, one that I've been working on for a couple of months now. It's a huge collaboration between The Domain and a website called BrickStuff.com. This company custom fits Lego vehicles with lights and sounds, and they're working on expanding to mega constructs. I've been working with BrickStuff and Shir Khan Industries to bring this project to life, and you can go to this website yourself and order custom lights, wiring, and sound effects for your Halo vehicle. This is a project that will gain speed more and more. You can check out the website for all the different things you can order and everything is so small it is compatible with Halo vehicles. If this video and all the ones following this gain some traction, then Rob is looking into selling personalized lights and sounds kits for Warthogs, Ghosts, Banshees, whatever you name. So this is a phenomenal project, something I'm very excited about. And if you use the code DOMAIN10 on his website, you can get 10% off any of the custom lights and sounds kits, the wiring, the LEDs, everything on his website. The pinned comment down below and the description of this video has loads of URL suggestions of things you can purchase from his website and they have great customer support if you contact them directly. So without further ado, let's take a look at BrickStuff.com. All right, that was a great Uber drive, and we are now in the middle of some random town in Minnesota. We're gonna try and track down Shia Khan, and then hopefully meet with the owner of Brick Stuff. Hey, look, is that Shia Khan hiding behind the wall? <laughs> Good to see you, eh? How you doing? So, I am here with the legend Shia Khan Industries. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. We're gonna go and see my friend uh, Rob and check out some of his lights and things that he can do. Yeah, I don't really know what to expect, to be honest. Um, I've seen a couple of pictures and videos. It looks like he has a pretty outrageous setup inside. So yeah, let's get inside. Let's meet Rob. Hey guys, welcome to Brick Stuff. Come on in. Okay, everybody, welcome to Brick Stuff. I'm very excited to be here today, and I'm joined by Rob. Nice to meet you. Hey, Simon, thanks for coming by. Yeah. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by our office here in beautiful, freezing Rosemount, Minnesota. It is most definitely freezing right now. <laughs> Why don't you tell us a little bit about Brick Stuff, Rob? So I started Brick Stuff 11 years ago now, making lights and sound and video oh. parts and products uh, for Lego enthusiasts, Mega Bloks enthusiasts, yeah. model train folks, anyone who wants to put lights or video and things inside, whatever they make. That is fantastic. And I think like on the surface of it, when you think adding lights to say a Lego set, it can sound quite simple. But when you take a look around this office, the level of detail and engineering behind these products is pretty outrageous. So why don't we go take a tour, Rob? You bet, absolutely, come on in. Why don't we take a look in here first? No, no, we're gonna save that one for last. <laughs> fair play, fair play. Yeah, it is a reception area. This used to be a law firm back in the 80s, so we're actually going to be taking this desk out here pretty soon to turn this into like a team collaborative space. Uh, and now we, we already get down to the business here. What are all these parts? We'll see our main stock room in a second, but this is where it's kind of like our overflow space. So these are primarily our video screens, and we've got some animated billboards and things that we sell, so this is just where we keep that stuff on the shelf. These are legitimately the smallest TV screens I've ever seen. This is an X-Wing cockpit. So this this is, this is moves, this is animated. Right, right, yeah. It's got, I think, seven or eight X-Wing animations loaded onto seven it. Seven or eight? There's different sections of this that light up differently, so it's like animated a little bit, and it glows in the dark. Wait, Perfect each one it. has 32 inside. The largest screen we have is a 10-inch screen, so we're actually working on a couple of ideas for putting that behind some smaller builds like scrolling stars for like spaceships. Unbelievable. That kind of thing. So, and yeah. you can program this, you can plug this right into your computer, put whatever you want on there? Yep, you can just load it up with whatever videos you want. It holds about 30 minutes total of videos. <laughs> and you can put that in your diorama, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Or you can make a drive-in movie screen and put some of your favorite video clips on there. I already have the uh, idea that we are only scratching the surface of what's inside this building. Like, look at this. Way cooler than any custom modifications that I've seen for Lego or Mega Constructs in the past. Let's continue the tour. And then in here is our main storeroom and packing room. So when the orders come in, every day. We have customers in about 60 countries. 60? Yep, so we ship all over the world. We make most of the stuff here ourselves. And I put together a lot of the circuit boards myself. I write the programs based on fan feedback and ideas. So one of the big differences between us and some of the Chinese manufacturers mm -hmm. of lighting kits, we'll actually spend a lot of time developing a kit like this one for the haunted house based on 
things that people want to see. On our user forum, I'll actually make a post and say, you know, what's your wish list? What are the things right. you would love to see for this kit? Right. And then we try to put as many of those as we can into the ultimate kit that we produce. At least in here, you would have like a kit per Lego release. We don't. And that's mm -hmm. actually another difference between us and some of the other companies. Lego releases hundreds of sets every year. There's only three people here, so we can't, you know, there's over a hundred products in this room alone. Probably we've got about 130 or 140 total SKUs that we sell wow. right now. We actually focus on pieces and parts mm. that people can use as they want to, mm. to put into whatever they have. Well, this is actually brand new. We don't actually have this on the website yet, but it's a little Lego TV built out of Lego bricks and it actually will play videos. It has a little remote control. You can change the channel, change the volume, change the video, and you can put two hours of video two onto hours. here. So Rob, you can put your own videos on there and watch your little movies. Are you but, telling me you can have a Lego house with a Lego TV showing the Lego movie. <laughs> Absolutely, and you've got the sound. That is so meta. www.brickstuff.com. And just a couple weeks ago, we started actually stocking these handy jelly beans. So if you jelly place beans. an order, you get food. I'm making these videos today. He's paying me in jelly beans. <laughs> I'll take it. We do a lot of soldering, obviously. So this is one of our solderers. Her name is Lee. For our set for Hogwarts, we actually will make the individual pieces that go inside the kits. Well, what is this huge thing in here? Well, this is my office. That's where I do most of the assembly of our circuit boards. That's called the pick and place machine. Robotic head that moves back and forth and we'll actually put the circuit board in place here. Then these reels have all the electronic parts oh and, and, and pieces that go onto it. So the machine will go and pick up the pieces over here and put them in place. This builds microchips. It does. Can you use this machine to solve the <laughs> Xbox Series X microchip shortage? <laughs> uh, we did do some work on the Red Ring of Death a couple years ago. But oh really? Uh, yeah. I have no idea this was like available in this site. Yeah, yeah, it's actually really compact. Oh, apparently there's an upstairs. Pieces like for our kit for the Ecto-1 that are in process. Deep fat fryer. <laughs> when you 3D print something using resin, which is what this printer uses, mm. you have to wash it. That's a piece that we 3D print. Yeah. And it's actually designed to look like a Lego coupler. It's the same size and shape and fits mm. in with the Lego train couplers. And once you figure it out, you can print a thousand of them for almost nothing. You can, absolutely. Yeah. You got a big project over here. So this yeah. is, this <laughs> is, this. Uh, this is a model created by a fan. The interior of the Death Star. The docking bay, right. You can see these are some of our wires. So yeah. they're, they're so thin that you can put bricks and plates and pieces on top of them. So you don't have to drill holes necessarily. They're as thin as a You head. can just yeah. run them underneath your pieces and yeah. between the pieces. Oh my God. Kind of in the maintenance bay at this point. It's got a real working hyperdrive, you say? It, well. <laughs> I mean, this is unbelievable, unbelievable. And right now you guys might be struggling to conceptualize what these finished products will look like, right? Light, sounds, and LED TV screens built in. We're gonna go downstairs and look at the finished product. Now, Rob, to be honest with you, I can't wait any longer. I need to see the main workspace. I need to see where the magic happens. All right, all right, I guess we can't wait any longer. So this room is also the messiest, but that means it's also the most creative. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> most of our models and where we do a lot of work trying to figure out what's going to work for each model. We like to design a kit when we make one specifically for that model. So we need the set, we need to take it apart, figure out where we can add value to it. And that's what we're doing here. Hello. Yeah, I built that a couple of weeks ago. I'm working on getting some sound and some automatic firing in there too. I'll do wheel. That's all right with you. <laughs> Absolutely. I've actually got an Instagram video if you go to our Brick Stuff Instagram. There's actually blue lights along here. We're working on making a kit with sound for the energy source. I'll be leaving a link to all of Rob's social medias. Hint comment in the comments down below, so please do check it out. Follow him on everything available. <laughs> I don't even know where to look, to be honest with you. I see two Death Stars. I see some Star Destroyers. We've got a Mega Constructs USS Enterprise down there. Myself and Shea have come here today with a very specific job in mind. Rob has mentioned before that he usually tailors to Lego, but is trying to branch out into Halo Mega Constructs. And that'll be made possible by supporting this video and his website. And today, we're here to pick up something that Shea ordered a couple of years ago. <laughs> I say a couple of years ago, it's only because he's not come back in a couple of years. Yeah, like, it's no, been that's, ready that's, that's for years. That's very generous of you. No, <laughs> it did no, not take a... you a 
couple of years to yeah, make. Well, <laughs> no, the reason this is so complicated, it was one of our first models where we put motors. Ah, right. Yep. So it wasn't just lights and it wasn't just sound, it was motors. So this is a light, sounds, and moving frost rave. <laughs> So Shia Khan has put in an order for a custom lights and rotating propellers Frost Raven. And we're about to meet it for the first time. It's incredibly exciting. Once we have a look at this, I brought some of my own banished vehicles to hopefully kit out with some lights. I'm very excited. How about you, Shia? <laughs> Can't wait. All right, let's see it. Oh, oh all right. my so. Functionally, it's ready to show, so I'd love Ooh. to be able to show you guys what it does and how it works. Let's wire this up and check it out. 